Hey viewers, what's going on? Uh, right now, I am currently working on a shot for our next video. Would you guys like to see it? Okay, I'll let you see it then. I'll give you a sneak peek. Here is what it looks like at the moment. Hold on, let's get this in focus here. Oh, jeez. Hold on, I gotta get this in focus first. Right there. Okay, this is it. If you can even tell what that is, I don't know. It's not done yet. Still need to put some laser fire in between the ships. And some explosions and stuff like that. But I think I've got the basic animation for this shot down. How I want the camera move to go. And the, uh, the ships and everything like that. So that's what I'm working on. Hopefully I'll be able to get done with this shot in the next couple hours. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's make sure this, this is going to be in focus here. Oh, oh, what the heck, what the fish, hold on, there we go. So, yeah, anyways, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, this video has proven to be quite a bit more complicated than we thought it was going to be, and that's why it's taken us so long to get it done. Um, I think we bit off a bit more than we could chew at least in you know the time span that we were hoping to have it done by so we're gonna have to kinda see where we're at at the end of today um, because we're not gonna be if we if we don't get this out by tomorrow it's not coming out this week we won't release it till next Tuesday so then we'll have to decide well do we want to try and shoot maybe just some other video to put up you know tomorrow or Saturday or something to just have something up for this week but I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to find out. We shall see. Okay. Uh, that's not spam. Psh, I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Uh, 1996 is over. I don't know why someone flagged your comment as spam because it's not spam. It was actually a pretty cool question. Do you ever write or at least think of video game plots, whether it be a continuation of, say, the Zelda series or your own video games? Uh, he says that uh, he once wrote up a sequel to Twilight Princess where the fused shadows and Majora's Mask combined and took over Link's body and Colin had to be the hero and save him. And that you'd play as both. I think that's a really cool concept. Like, dude, bravo. Um, the whole idea of using Colin as a main hero, I think that would be a really sweet Zelda game. Um, that's actually pretty unique stuff. That's way cool. I, um, ha I do a lot of writing... Um, not like for a sequel of current like franchises or anything like that, but um, I've been writing a fantasy novel for the last like eight or nine years that I would like to eventually adapt into a video game. Um, and you know, we I, I've I've done a lot of short stories and things like that. Nothing that I've ever finished, like saw through to completion. But I have a lot of ideas that I would like to uh, complete one of these days. Um, Order Council asks, uh, I have a 32-bit BC, so I can't use After Effects. However, I can use Source Filmmaker. Well, do you have an opinion on Source Filmmaker? I do not. I've never used Source Filmmaker before, um, but apparently it's pretty awesome. From the very little bit that I've heard about it, um, I've heard it's cool. Camo Yoshi, what do you think about the results of this year's presidential election? I don't care. <laughs> to be totally honest with you, I, I, it, I really just did not care. Um, I know everyone wants to act like this was one of the most important elections ever, and all the Republicans now are acting like we've now thrown ourselves off a cliff, it's all over, we've officially screwed ourselves. That's just not how I see the world. Um, Every time there's a you know a change in the political scene, you know, especially with presidents, each side tries to act like, oh, we are so effed now. We are so effed. I don't know. My life is has been relatively the same. I know there are a lot of people that have been affected by you know politics. There are a lot of people that are out of work, but I don't know. I just don't s seem to see much of a difference in my own life between the two parties when they're in power so 
I honestly don't really care. Um, uh, let's see, we got another question here. Console or PC gaming and why? PC gaming, because it's easier, it looks better, runs better, um, and you know, for me, it's like with my job, I have to have a pretty beefy PC in order to do what I do. So if I'm going to have to invest in, you know, a powerful computer, I might as well just be playing the games on the computer rather than buying all these consoles. I don't think that in the next generation of gaming, I'm going to own all the consoles the way that I did in this one. In this generation, I owned Wii, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and had a powerful PC, and I had the DS and the PSP, and now I've got the 3DS, and, and I've realized that most of these games can just be played on my PC. Um, I know there are certain exclusives that you know are really cool and everything, but I don't know if they're worth buying a $300 to $500 console just to play those exclusives. So I'm pretty much getting out of the console gaming scene and into the PC gaming scene almost exclusively now. Okay, Battlefield or Call of Duty? I have no preference. I'm not a uh, I'm not a first-person shooter fan. I, I I'm not big into FPSs. Um, and so this other question by Steinlover: Did you get Halo 4? No. Um, looks really cool. Actually, looks really really interesting. I'd like to try it, but uh, I'm not gonna go get it anytime soon for $60. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of, of the genre, of that genre of gaming, so. Um, what is your favorite video that you've done on YouTube so far that was asked by uh, asked by AllStar6358? Um, I think that in terms of um, like what we want to do, like what we're going for, like what we'd like to be doing in the future, Tetris most resembles that. Um, I think that was the most cinematic, obviously it was very, you know, it, we, we patterned it after movie trailers, so we wanted to make it look like a movie and everything like that. I think that that looked and felt like what we want to do, but I think as far as execution and resonating with the audience and uh, and just, I guess, raw comedy um, imaginary war zone was probably our best video so that's probably my favorite and Tetris is up there as well um, I've been paying I have it I've been paying too much attention to where I plays today I was literally talking to my computer like Mike does in his video games <laughs> that's from Stein lover yeah Games can be frustrating sometimes. You gotta, you gotta let them know who's boss. You gotta tell them what's up. Okay, one more. I have a question. What's up with the Swedish flag in your living room? Any one of you guys are Swede? I'd like to know because I'm Swedish. Peace. That's from C4, uh, C4 R now 63. Sorry, I don't know how you want that pronounced. Um, our our um, roommate Eric, he lived in Sweden for a couple of years. Um, he served a mission there for uh, the church that he's a part of, that we're a part of. We're Mormons. Let's just get it out there. So he served um, he served a two year mission for the Mormon Church in Sweden, and so that's why we have a Swedish flag out there. Um, Landon served his mission in Japan. He lived there for a couple of years. Uh, Kason and I both served here in the States. He was in Pittsburgh. I was in Las Vegas. And Matt, our other roommate, he was in uh, 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 Portugal. He went to Portugal. And then our other roommate, Trent, went to Mexico. So that's why we have all these flags and stuff out there. It's just the places they serve their missions. Okay. I think that's it. You guys have any more questions? Let me know. I'm really tired. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of energy right now because um, I didn't go to sleep last night. I stayed up all night playing Tokyo Jungle. So, yeah. <laughs> Game's really cool. Game's freaking awesome, but uh, I don't have anything else to say.